Hello, my friends, and welcome back to part two of news assessment or interpretation. So this article that I have here is from uh, USA Today. It was published on February 11th, and it's titled Ukraine-Russia Crisis. Okay. Biden, Putin, to speak as White House, says credible prospect of imminent Russian invasion. Okay. There's no Ukraine-Russia crisis. They try to make it that way. It's an internal issue, crisis in Ukraine. That's what it is. Then we have other actors they play around that which is NATO, certain countries of NATO, which is Great Britain, which is England, and United States, because Germany, France, Italy, they're not, these are considered big dogs in NATO, not Romania and Poland and all these uh, little, little countries that are used just for their uh, strategic, uh, you know, territorial position that they have. Like Romania, it's not taken into consideration because we're good or smart or because we have a strong army no because our territory they can use to affect some certain situation some certain strategic interest in this case ukraine and if something happens guess who's gonna be bombed romania so nah, i guess you guys over there in romania are gonna be taking this responsibility and the risks associated with joining certain alliances which is fine which is fine but i'm just saying be prepared i mean it's not only when everything is goes great we all celebrate when things go sour or south oh my god no i don't i, I didn't sign out for this yes you did you know like in a marriage good and bad we stick together but some people just sprang out just leave in this case if something happens to Romania, what do you think the United States will do? Uh, nothing. 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 They can't. What are they going to do? Are they going to fight the Russians or something? How? They have atomic bombs. <laughs> but anyway, so, for, and then he says here the credible, credible prospect of imminent Russian invasion. Says who? The intelligent uh, departments, uh, intelligent community in the United States. Let me remind you of an event that's called uh, Iraq War, when these intelligent uh, departments showed us that uh, Saddam Hussein has weapons of mass destruction, he has uh, you know, chemical weapons, he hides them from A to B to C, or like that. And um, they didn't find anything. And they destroyed the country. And they killed a lot of people. Not only Americans and Europeans and so on. They killed Iraqis. Children too. Uh, that was a crime. It was a crime. Well, whatever. The intelligence. So for me, it's like you go to a bank. And you go to a bank and say, Bank, I want you to lend me some money. And the bank says, Okay. I will lend you how much you want. And I say, okay, give me $100,000. All right. And the next day I go and sign the papers and then give me $50,000. They lend me 50, not $100,000. Say, what the hell is going on here? Well, I, we thought it was 100, but now it's 50, 100, it's just $50,000. But you have to pay for $100,000, okay? So the next time when you go to the bank, will you trust the bank when the bank tells you something? No, no. It's like you talk with, speak with someone and someone lies to you. Will you trust that person again? No. So why would I trust or why would you trust the so-called intelligence community uh, departments and in the United States? No. They have zero credibility. And I should not mention only the Iraq war. It's, there are many examples. Okay, let's move on. Ah, then we have here that... Um, we have here an article from Yahoo News, dated uh, February 11th, and the title is Black Legal Professionals Hail 
Biden's historic Supreme Court promise. So his promise, for some people who do not know, is that he's going to nominate the first black female uh, to the Supreme Court. And you see black legal professionals hail that. They say, yeah, that's great. Well, how about if they would say, well, I'm going to nominate the first Chinese or Asian, or how you want to call it, Asian. And all the Asian come in, you say, yes, 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 yes. So if they nominate someone from a group just because of the membership, that means other groups were discriminated just because they don't are not part of that group. So let's say I gave you the example of the little people. Or let's say I'm an Eskimo, or right now you're supposed to say what? A different name, Inu, Ainu. If I say, okay, I'm an Eskimo, you know, why don't I get to be nominated? I was discriminated, or let's say a native or American Indian. Why am I not nominated? Now you nominated a black female instead of me. I think I'm more of a victim than them, don't, am I not? So if it's about who's the victim here, then I think I'm ahead in line, right? So that's why, and then if that's the basis, the first basis, that means you discriminate, <laughs> discriminate against other groups. Well, that's not meritocracy. So if I go to a job interview and someone tells me, no, I'm not going to hire you because you are Romanian, you're, you come from Romania. And I'm so, oh, okay, oh, okay, who are you? Okay. No, I have nothing to do with anything. I have nothing to do with uh, uh, Indian American. I have nothing to do with anybody. I didn't discriminate against anybody. My ancestors never did that. And if they did, go and get them from the grave. Don't dig them out if you want. But me? My children? No. Like you have, for instance, the Michigan State Universities, uh, I think they, they used to have, I think I still have it. Uh, it says, Michigan State University, Equal Opportunity Employer, uh, Affirmative Action Institution, or something like this. These are two contradictory terms. So if it's Equal Opportunity Employer, but then it says Affirmative Action, what do you mean? We know what Affirmative Action is, right? You get more points if you belong to a certain group. You claim membership to a certain group. So how is equal opportunity? I have an opportunity to go over there, but when I go over there, they just say, dismiss me because why? Uh, my hair is black or dark or something? Is that equal opportunity? Yeah, you can apply, but we're going to just uh, screen you out because you're a part of that member, uh, that group, a member of that kind, of certain kind of group. That's flat out lie. And this legal professionals, how many? All of them? 2%, 5%? How many of them? Five people? They never tell you. They say like that, like general title. And those people who hail that thing, why would they do that? Why would they, for instance, I, I, why would I get a Chinese person? It's because I think the old Chinese think in a certain way. If I do that, that means I'm a racist because I think that everybody thinks the same way. So I lump everybody in a certain group just by because they are a certain kind of race. So those guys who hail that, I think they're not good, not good. We're going to jump to another one. Uh, we're going to jump to Canada. Anyway, we have here a Reuters article, and it's uh, dated uh, February 11th, 2022. And it says everything, it is on the, it's on the table. No, everything is on the table, Trudeau, the Prime Minister Trudeau, on ending blockades. So, what do you mean everything is on the table? What do you mean? I mean, if you're not familiar with that, is the truck uh, convoy that came to Ottawa and they blocked over, they came into downtown and just wanted to speak with this guy who represents them, but he didn't want to talk to them because he's above them. And then it's unbelievable just to read the news, the Canadian news that covers for this guy and the interpretation of those people, of the hardworking truckers. It's unbelievable how they call them. All kind of names they try to know. Extremist, racist, xenophobic, whatever. Just go on YouTube or uh, go on Rumble and look at some certain interviews of the truck drivers and see some drone uh, footage and um, just, just see how what people say. Not what other people say about other people saying. And just, just go over there and, and see. So everything is on the table. What do you mean is everything is on the, on the table? They're going to shoot them? They're going to bomb them? They're going to do what? They're going to strangle them? What, are, what do you mean? Are you going to 
cave in to them or what are you gonna do? Everything is on the table. That's how dictators talk. Everything is on the table. That means everything? Really? Everything? Well, we have another article here, and it's uh, coming from The Hill on the February 10th, 2022. And it says the title is US fighter jets land in Poland. Bravo, bravo, Poland. What does that mean? That means that you are a target. You, Poland, are a target of a much greater country. And then you allow these guys to use your territory for their maneuvers, right? Which is fine, but then that comes with responsibility. You know, when shit hits the fan, I don't want you to start crying and begging. No, just go over there and fight those guys. Guys, fight them, do whatever you need to fight, do. They're gonna obviously gonna uh, raise you to the ground, and then you're gonna say what? Instead of just having your independent po uh, political uh, interest and you know, be befriend or try to be friends with everybody and forget about certain things where you think you're the uh, noble and the other one is just a bad person, you're the good guy and the other one is a bad guy. Don't pick and choose. There's no country on this planet, no group, no race, who did not commit crimes. There's no such a thing. Who thinks that they belong to a category of saints? That tells you it's a big problem somewhere else. Okay? Alright, the next one. It says here that I have the... It's an article from Barrows. Actually, barons, barons, never heard of this, but Yahoo, whatever. It's from February 11th, 2022, and uh, the it's titled Stocks Tumbled After U.S. Warned Russia Invasion of Ukraine Could Happen Any Day Now. Any Day Now. Well, who says who? We have to state, based on what, the intelligence I already spoke about, the credibility of United States intelligence zero, actually negative, because it's not like a zero, like a uh, blank uh, piece of paper. It's negative because they lied, so they're in the <laughs> they're in negative, and then it could happen any day now. So imagine those guys who have internal uh, knowledge of this kind of uh, decisions and uh, you know um, statements. How much money they make on the stock market? If they have one day, you know, if the U.S. and that happens, you know, if they have one day of knowledge ahead of everybody else, that this statement is gonna is gonna be, uh, gonna press secretary is gonna just shoot it in a meeting. The press secretary is, uh, well, uh, talk with media and so on. If you do that. You're gonna make a lot of money on the stock market because you have knowledge, ahead knowledge of certain things that will happen. So you know how the market is gonna react, how the stocks are gonna react. All right, we have here we have here a um, Reuters article from uh, February 11th, 2022, and it says Austria resists including Nord Stream 2 in U, uh, EU. Package for Russia sanction. Of course, they resist because if they don't get gas from Russia, its citizens will be freezing. So that's the way it should be. Your national interest before what? Standing from what? From country? Well, anyway, that I will talk about Ukraine and it's a regime that was toppled in 2015 by a coup by uh, um, what's her name? Newlander. New land, whatever it's called, uh, she, she's called, and uh, the U.S. and uh, Great Britain, but that's a different story. So of course, uh, Austria doesn't want to <laughs> doesn't want to impose any any sanctions on Russia because its citizens will die. I mean, for what? For Ukraine? Uh, Ukraine is a different story. As I said, I will make a, another uh, program for that. I will make another video for that. So uh, stay smart and strong, and. I will make part three because it seems I still have a few um, uh, articles to discuss. Bye bye.